Hey folks, good afternoon and welcome to this special edition MC Commute coming to you live from the official North American press introduction of Aprilia's 2021 Tuono V4 and V4 factory naked bike. Let's swing a leg over this bad boy and tell you what it's like to ride. Folks, there it is, Aprilia's 2021 Tuono V4 factory. This is a naked leader and above sized naked sport bike from Aprilia out of Noelle, Italy. Aprilia has been crafting these motorcycles in Italy since the 2002 model year. They went to the V4 engine configuration from a V2 engine configuration for... What's up, man? That's a nice bike, bro. You like it? Yeah, it's really nice. How do you like it? This is my new V4 Tuano. I think that I'm buying one of those. It's the best bike on the market. I love that bike. It's the best bike on the market. You heard it here first, guys. The best bike on the market. So this is the 2021 V4. As I was saying, Aprilia went from the V-twin engine to the V4 engine for the 2012, I believe, model year. So let's hop on this bad boy and see what's up. The gentleman I was just speaking to, his name is Shane Piccio. He is the Piaggio Group group press liaison here for the North American market he works at that company so obviously he's gonna say that bike is the best but to be fair these Aprilia Tuanos do have a special place in my heart these bikes kick butt they always are at the top of the naked sport bike spectrum in the leader and above class. Right now we are on an official press riding event for the North American introduction of this model. Now Aprilia has given this vehicle a similar batch of improvements as it's given its 2021 RSV4 and RSV4 factory. We produced multiple forms of content on these aforementioned vehicles. So hop on to MotorcyclistOnline.com to read the articles and check out the playlist and the videos on the Aprilia RSV4 2021 MY machines to get up to speed on those changes. Now, curiously enough, Aprilia did not fit the larger capacity engine in this particular vehicle. This motorcycle continues to be powered by Aprilia's 1077cc 65 degree water-cooled V4 engine. So it does not benefit from that one millimeter of added piston stroke that the RSV4 and RSV4 factory do. But that is okay. I love this engine. It produces a whopping spread of torque and horsepower. And not only does it have a whopping spread of power, but just the character and the charisma of this engine. Just listen to this thing. Listen to this thing. It sounds so sick. I love this engine. I could do this all day and night. Very, very pleasing sounding engine. This is probably one of the most charismatic powertrains in motorcycling today. So good job, Aprilia. So the engine is the same. What is different is the fuel tank, the bodywork. We finally have LED headlamps. Yes, LED headlamps, LED taillight. And the cool thing about this LED taillight is 
that it has a function in it where if you if the vehicle deaccelerates at a certain parameter aka suddenly or an emergency stop the rear taillight will automatically flash to help alert riders and drivers behind you that you are slowing down quickly you have to remember these liter and above size naked bikes have tremendous stopping force these things shed speed extremely quickly and most people in automobiles can't even comprehend how quickly these vehicles can slow down thankfully Aprilia thought of some of the details and has put that flashing taillight on this motorcycle I think we're doing a photo stop here, a video stop here, folks. So, like I said, when we are doing these official press introductions, we we aren't leading this ride. We can't just do whatever we want. We have to stick with the pack and do what they say. So, we're probably going to be doing a video stop or a photo stop. But that's fine because it will give us more time to talk about this vehicle. LED lights. Look at those things. For the longest time, this motorcycle didn't have LEDs. That is a tremendous upgrade. Now, this factory specification Aprilia Tuano comes with this nice fly screen. The handlebar on this motorcycle is a little bit lower than it would be on the Tuano standard. So for 2021, Aprilia has taken its Tuano standard and made that almost like a sport touring bike. The handlebar is a little bit taller than this. It has an even larger windscreen and it has better passenger accommodations. There is actually a real passenger seat on like this little seat cover that comes equipped on the Tuono V4 factory. On a side note, Tuono means thunder in Italian. That is what they went with for the naming convention back in 2002. And that's a great name because this thing has a lot of thunder. Other changes on this motorcycle besides the fuel tank and the slight ergonomic tweaks are that swing arm. The Just like the RSV4 and RSV4 factory, this thing gets the works alloy swing arm. I love that. It looks like a piece that was taken off from Aprilia's World Superbike Racing effort. Aprilia always knocks it out of the park with its frames and swing arms. It's if there's one thing Aprilia knows how to do really well that is chassis design and making chassis that look aesthetically pleasing. Look at this polished frame spar. Very, very nice. This cast piece on the frame, maybe not quite as aesthetically pleasing as this polished piece, but still very nice. All right, folks, I think we're getting ready to go here. Let's talk about this 5-inch color TF tea look at how pretty this thing is the previous display on the 2020 tuono v4 and rsv4 was just i dislike looking at the display so much this thing is way better it is fully functional you can set up the various features of this motorcycle very easily the switch gear is finally intuitive and easy to use i like that this thing has all the bells and whistles you can customize each of the program modes we have power mode, we have engine brake control, we have traction control, we have wheelie control, launch control, ABS, and we have 
Aprilius ASC, which stands for its suspension control. That's right. This Tuono V4 factory comes with semi-active suspension from Olean's. This is the Gen 2 system, so similar in programming to the current model from the Borgo Panigale factory and the tuning fork brand. Of course, all of the programming is proprietary. It depends on how the manufacturer wants it and their relationship with the with Olean's. And some companies have it figured out better than others. <coughs> Yamaha. But this setup works very good. Probably the most crazy thing on this bike is when you think about it, the the semi-active suspension option on the Aprilia RSV4 factory is a $7,000 upcharge. $7,000 upcharge versus the base model. On this motorcycle, the upcharge between the $16,000 base model and this vehicle, which costs $19,500, is only $3,500. So for half the cost, you get semi-active suspension. To be fair, the RSV4 factory also comes with forged alloy wheels. And this motorcycle just uses cast alloy wheels. But we're okay with it. All right, it's time for us to go, guys. We are gonna do our photo and video pass so you can see us on the interwebs, and then we are gonna check in with you in a little bit. We will see you later. folks finally we are done with the photos and the videos and all of the things and now we get to enjoy the vehicle now as we said before this motorcycle is powered by the existing 1077 C C 65 degree V4 engine a pretty engineers say that they didn't have to modify the bore and stroke measurements like they had to do on the RSV4 sport bike and super bike, which they did have to make a modification in an effort to meet Euro 5 homologation requirements. It's the same engine with different fuel tuning and a different exhaust but geez this engine is just awesome it just has so much character it sounds so awesome and it has so much power everywhere it is a very exhilarating engine to run up and down the gearbox from this motorcycle is manipulated via a ride by wire throttle. Aprilia was an early leader in ride by wire throttle technology. And they continue to evolve the way the twist grip and engine interact. And this, the throttle response on this motorcycle is very very good what i like is you can actually adjust the throttle response the aem the aprilia engine management acronym you're not actually managing the engine per se you're managing the throttle response right now we are riding in throttle response aem mode one which is the most aggressive most direct throttle response. If you want a slightly softer throttle response, move it to mode two. If you want even softer throttle response, move it to mode three. It's worth mentioning that this setting does not affect the power output of the engine. The engine is still 
going to make maximum power in any of those three operating modes. The electronic quick shifter does a magnificent job of keeping this engine right where it needs to be. I love the way it adds stability when you downshift. That little bit of moment where the rear tires unloaded, the auto blip downshifter completely mitigates that and it allows you to have more vehicle stability during corner entry. It's awesome technology and it works really well on this Tuono V4 factory. Now, there is some engine vibration through the controls, but it is very muted. It, it isn't overwhelming, and honestly, I like the way this engine vibrates because it really adds to the character of the powertrain. This engine is just, it's just so rambunctious, so fun. And when you're riding this bike, you really are riding something special. Now, the engine continues to drink out of a 4.7 gallon fuel tank. This fuel tank has been reshaped. I really like how it fits me between my legs. It's easy to squeeze. I have good I have good ability to maneuver the bike from side to side through these twisty corners and I really like it. Fuel economy wise, we have averaged 36.2 MPG, which is pretty good. We haven't really been wailing on this motorcycle because it is a structured press introduction or pace is a lot slower. If I was riding this motorcycle on my old own time, we would probably be getting 28 MPG. So 36.2 MPG is possible if you short shift the engine and keep it off of the pipe. Now right now we're riding in the tour setting with this button on the right switch gear, we can easily switch between the sport and tour and user mode. The user mode we have set up to our liking with max throttle response, least amount of engine braking, low settings of traction control and wheelie control. Of course, we can adjust traction control on the fly with this paddle style button here on the left cliff bond. I love it. Level eight is the maximum amount of traction control and one is the least. We can also manually disable the wheelie control and traction control by holding down on the negative button. I really like that. That lets us be able to do wheelies. Yes, yes, look, nice wheelies too. That was fun, yes. So all you have to do to do those wheelies is manually disable the electronics. We want the safety of traction control back on our backs. Let's enable it by pushing the positive. Now we're back on traction control. That is totally awesome. Good job, Aprilia. Now, right now in the menu, we have this motorcycle set up to have cruise control be cruise control. But you can go in the menu and set this button to be wheelie control adjustment. I think Aprilia calls this button the L2 button, but right now we have it as cruise control. Let's put it in cruise control. Cruise control is engaged by this green insignia. We have cruise control at 53 miles per hour. I love cruise control. All motorcycles should have cruise control. I'm a big fan. It just makes it easy to hold your speed at a constant speed if you want do cruise control to disengage, operate the brakes or the clutch or just turn it off. There are no heated grips on this model. If this thing had heated grips, I would be really sold. Now, this five inch color TFT is a big improvement from its predecessor. 
it is crisp it is easy to read i like that you can see the average fuel mileage you can see your odometer you can see all of the settings which engine brake which controls which modes you're riding on very easily this display also has a dedicated track setting which you can set up within the menu system we can't do it now because the vehicle is moving but you can put in a dedicated track display aprilia says that this display also offers bluetooth compatibility with your ios enabled smart phone but you have to purchase an auxiliary module for around $400. The Motorrad company has Bluetooth integration right as a standard feature in its model with a very slick iOS app. I wish Aprilia would have that standard. That feature should be standard and the app should be free. Aprilia, pay attention. Now, this display is also awesome because you can have it in daylight setting or with the white background and black numbers or you can go to the night mode just like your smartphone where you have white numbers on a black background. I'm a big dark mode guy. I like dark mode day or night but we're using it in auto mode because on the video camera it shows up better with the white background and black numbers and if you notice when we rode through the tunnel there's a light sensor that automatically puts the display in dark mode when you are in conditions where the ambient light is low now because this is an official press introduction we will not have the opportunity to ride this vehicle after dark so we can't speak on how effective the LED headlamp is. But we did ride the RSV4 motorcycle, the RSV4 factory in a MC commute review to redo it after our questionable audio from our track review on the RSV4 standard. And the LED headlamps work well on this bike. They are not at the top of the class, but they are a big improvement from the halogen setup on the previous model. Cruise control, yes. Now, the chassis on this motorcycle. This motorcycle is exceptionally agile for a 430 some pound motorcycle. It is very agile. I wouldn't say it's the most agile naked bike, but it's certainly no slouch. This Olean's Gen 2 semi-active suspension, it is delivering a very nice ride quality right now. We are riding in the Aprilia suspension control mode A1, which is the track suspension setting. So a little bit more aggressive damping settings with this setup, but even at a very moderate pace, which we're riding now, this motorcycle goes over the bumps very well. It goes over the bumps very well and is delivering a very pleasing ride quality. Let's give this thing some juice and see how it handles with some juice. Handling is very, very good on this motorcycle. I love this upright handlebar bend. Not only is it comfortable, but it gives me good vehicle control. It's not so relaxed that I feel like I'm riding a cruiser. It's still a very engaged, almost sort of like a super moto esque experience sort of god this thing is just a hoot to ride tons of power tons of torque tons of character good road holding 
the suspension now that we're going a little faster is a tad bouncy it would be interesting to go in the menu and set our own fixed damping setting with a little bit more rebound i would like to see how that would do maybe on a subsequent review video we can do that here is the legendary newcomb's ranch this is a socal eatery eatery off this curvy stretch of road in southern california triple disc hydraulic disc brakes keep speed in check the brakes on this motorcycle are totally marvelous we are riding an abs level two which has cornering abs functionality with abs active on the front discs and the rear disc that mitigates any slides we could have from the tires when we are using the brakes i love these brakes gosh they have so much power do you see how the hazard lights flashed real quick that was the rear tail light that will start flashing when the vehicle deaccelerates suddenly to help you get notice from people behind you so you don't have an accident from someone rear-ending you. Back to the brakes. These brakes have good power, good feel. I love how European motorcycle manufacturers like Aprilia, they have very aggressive ABS mapping. So if you are a rider who really leans on the brakes hard, the ABS programming isn't going to hold you back. It's not going to come in aggressively, even in the higher ABS settings. So good job to Aprilia. What an exhilarating naked bike to ride. I would totally have one of these things in my garage. They are insanely fun. Yes, comfort. We talked about this handlebar, how it feels sort of like a super moto bike where it has good aggressiveness without being too aggressive and nor is it too relaxed the controls aprilia did a very nice job with its rsv4 sport bike they actually lowered the foot controls on that motorcycle which makes for a more accommodating riding position especially if you're a tall guy like me i stand at six foot this tuonos has the rider foot controls at the same position so more legroom than before on this tuono v4 and v4 factory which i like a lot as i get a little bit older and less flexible those meter and above class sport bikes just get so demanding to ride and it's nice to have a naked sports bike with a more upright handlebar bend and more relaxed foot controls but to be fair like we said the foot controls are identical to the rsv4 which is a far greater uh, much more accommodating and comfortable motorcycle to ride for taller folks i like the ergonomics on this bike i like the seat this i feel like is a motorcycle i could ride every day i would want the taller windscreen that comes standard on the standard tuona v4 versus this fly screen but i would rather have this olean's semi-active suspension 
so it's kind of give or take I wish you could you probably actually could just get the windscreen as an accessory from Aprilia and then have an all the cart style Tuono B4 while we are on the topic of comfort now these liter and above size naked bikes these motorcycles make so much power these days that heat management is a big deal and I'm really happy to report that the Tuono V4 this motorcycle doesn't throw off excessive heat onto the rider even on a warm day it's probably 90 degrees right now while we're riding and as long as you have this vehicle moving the heat it throws off is not excessive obviously if you are parked at a standstill it just idling yes this motorcycle is gonna get hot quick but as long as you have a little bit of movement and air rushing over that radiator it does a good job of dissipating heat and moving it away from the cockpit all right folks to round out this test we're hopping on the freeway this bike goes 0 to 100 real quick real quick here on the freeway we are riding at 67 miles per hour in top gear oh we're going to 80 now in top gear and the engine's pulling just over 5,000 rpm now what i really like about this motorcycle is it's extreme versatility now usually aprilia and a naked bike a naked sports bike nonetheless versatility isn't the first thing you think of when you think of these motorcycles but this bike really is it can do a lot this motorcycle is very mild mannered in the city it is capable on the freeway especially with the standard Tuano's taller windscreen and then of course when you are in the canyons it is more than capable of getting some so these Aprilia Tuono V4s are certainly more than one trick ponies one thing we forgot to mention there is the standard Tuono V4 do you see the taller windscreen and the big passenger accommodations that big tall seat this is also fitted with Aprilia's accessory luggage that is soft luggage that is hard mounted via a racking system and it is very well made I love how sturdy that is Aprilia has not announced the US pricing of that accessory luggage so we don't know the price but think about it you can purchase that asymmetrical soft luggage and now you have a functional touring bike sport touring naked sport touring bike pretty neat pretty neat and another feather in the cap for Aprilia and a would-be Aprilia Tuona V4 owner this motorcycle comes with a two-year unlimited mileage warranty now probably the thing working against Aprilia the most here in the United States is its limited dealer network Aprilia has nowhere close to as many dealers as even Ducati and that certainly hurts them not only in terms of sales but also parts these vehicles it's harder to get parts it's harder to get warranty work done just because there isn't as many dealers and Aprilia doesn't do the type of sales volume 
as some of the other European manufacturers here in the States. But if you have an Aprilia dealer close to your house and you are cool with that, these motorcycles are awesome. Well, folks, there it is. Aprilia's awesome 2021 Tuono V4 factory. $19,500 for this vehicle. I really like this bike. It checks a lot of boxes for me. It's fun. It's fast. It's charismatic. It's comfortable. It looks neat. neat. I like the LED headlamps. This is a big improvement from the previous Tuono v4 would i spend my nineteen thousand five hundred dollars for this vehicle you bet you i like this motorcycle i think it's cool that you get that gen 2 semi-active olean suspension for only a thirty five hundred dollar upcharge that is awesome all right folks make sure to log on to motorcyclistonline.com that's where all of my written content lives and we'll see you next time thanks for watching